What's up, dudes? Hold fast here. Back on our um, Noble server, actually. And I'm actually re recording over this because um, today I got a new microphone and I actually recorded this um, on Monday. I was homesick and I uh, did a little quick little recording here to show off a few of our changes that we have. So, as you can see, we got some nice uh, potatoes now. So, uh, Kyle actually dropped these off and uh, they're pretty awesome. Um, I love this farm. I just need a piece of um, glowstone to make a redstone lamp so that we can um, properly harvest this farm because right now we can't really harvest it very well. Um, I have to go through and smash each one, but um, once we get the redstone lamp from the nether, well, once I get some glowstone from the nether and I can create a redstone um, nether soon, once I create another uh, a f a redstone lamp, then I can properly harvest this without using a pumpkin because it's kind of a pain right now. So, But you know what? A jack-o'-lantern kind of works for now. Um, as you can see, I got tons of crap. I'm very, not very organized right now, as you can see. I do have 13 diamonds, which is very nice. Um, but, bar or not Barton, um, Patrick left me all these beds, which is just awesome. I greatly appreciate all the beds, Patrick, so thanks. He also filled this whole place full of dirt. Um, was it Patrick that left the beds? Or who? Somebody left the beds and someone filled the whole place full of dirt. Bunch of jerks. And they're talking down in the chat about what they're going to call the mountain, which I'll show you guys in just a minute. Uh, right now I'm just trying to organize a little bit because um, I do have a bow. Well, I actually have a couple bows, um, but I don't really have any arrows. Got tons of wood, tons of um, uh, gra not gravel, stone going. Um, so we're we're working hard to to change all the or not the gravel change the cobblestone into actual um, stone because I don't like gravel I don't I don't like cobblestone <laughs> I also don't like gravel but that's fine um, I made these piston doors they're pretty sweet I think I love adding piston doors and uh, we got lots of presents from guys here I think that's from Shade and um, after this Patrick left me something as well. Um, once again, trying to change everything into stone instead of cobblestone so that we can make smooth stone or so that we can make uh, stone brick because I love stone brick. Who doesn't love stone brick? I don't know who because it's just crazy if you don't. Um, so these doors I worked very hard on. I'll show you guys a video of what I did to make those doors. Very simple, very quick and easy. So this is underneath our little uh, lookout tower, which you'll see above. Um, I made this quick little wheat farm. Not for any kind of efficiency reason just because you do need wheat to start off I need some bread got to eat right so I just made this quick little wheat farm um, just for that reason and I don't know where that I lost the seed I think if I don't know where it fell anyways um, so we got a pretty sweet location here underneath the mountain as you can see I've already placed a few vines up top which hopefully will end up growing and I'll place string underneath a few of them just so that we can um, stop and control the growth and that's my beautiful piston door obviously that uh, I made and uh, so we're gonna like I said got a ton of changes that are that have already happened after recording this video but um, that's it so far got our nice little tree farm which um, I think is working out pretty well I've also already added another level to and I added this door because I don't know what happened but I cut a hole in it and ended up just going through <laughs> anyways let's throw a door in there just for fun no real reason this is my reed farm um just our temporary reed farm because you obviously need books for enchantment tables and we're gonna we already have an enchantment table and room with bookshelves and all that kind of stuff at the, the nether um spawn kind of area that we've kind of created um with a few anvils already from kyle so that's looking pretty sweet um, I just like to have these kind of, it kind of uh, sets the, the beach apart a little bit. Makes it look a little bit nicer, I think, actually. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a good way to pretty up your, prettify your beach a little bit. Um, and it's nice that you can hide torches kind of in between each, each sugar cane, which is always good. Um, so yeah, that's about all we have for updates, I believe. Um, at the end of this video, at the end of this next couple of minutes, I'm actually going to um, do a time lapse of a lot of these changes that I've done because they're kind of boring just to watch and just to talk over because they're all the, the starting things that you need to do. You need to mine, you need to build a tree farm and get some food and all that crap. So 
I included that at the end of this video, so if you want to stick around after this, um, then you can check that out. So, hope you guys enjoy this, and hopefully we'll see you next time.